Uh, the uh, barb from uh, Rishi Sunak to Keir Starmer was get on the phone to your union paymasters. Uh, uh, clearly, the whole issue of strikes is rather uh, delicate for, for Labour to actually walk the line. Yes, it's very sensitive for Labour, but there's a lot of political game playing by Rishi Sunak, and that's sad to see. First of all, the Conservatives have been in government for 12 years, running our railways for 12 years, so they should take responsibility. It's also worth pointing out that there's actually public support for people fighting for fair pay. And if, like uh, this rail union, you've been offered 4% and inflation's around 10 and you've got rent or mortgage to pay husband or wife and children to feed, it's perfectly reasonable that your pay goes up in line with inflation. And, of course, the RMT, although we're supportive of the unions, the RMT is not affiliated with Labour. So I think there's a lot of um, nonsense coming from the Conservative government. And it was... Slightly the same under Boris Johnson, Liz Truss, in the sense of it's very easy to criticise the unions, but it's much harder to actually come up with a solution. A problem this time, and that is inflation. And of course, if these uh, pay awards do go through, that's going to feed yet more into inflation. And clearly the government has got to try and keep a lid on that. Well, the government has, the government has a job of trying to keep everyone happy. So first of all, if you're a train driver, male or female, old or young, uh, you shouldn't see the amount of disposable income and the amount you have to pay for food cut because of uh, failures in macroeconomic policy or transport policy elsewhere. But secondly, inf inflation, you know, I, I, I'm very uh, sceptical about this idea that um, if you give one industry the um, pay rise that they deserve, it's purely uh, flat in real terms that that's inflationary. You have to look at the causes of inflation. It's because we haven't invested in our energy infrastructure. We've become reliant on other countries, particularly Russia. We haven't invested in growing enough of our own food, like maize, we get grain from Ukraine. And of course, in this area, we haven't um, invested in transport infrastructure, which is why, for example, in London, um, Oyster or Metro fares are much higher than Paris or Tokyo. So yeah. it, it pains me to say it, but you know the, the, the cost of living crisis is largely with the exception of the war in Ukraine, largely made on these shores.